guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here today I have another exciting video for you guys we are doing a 30 minute meal collab so together we're gonna go ahead and meal prep a recipe I will have my recipe in the description box also I want to say a special thank you to Jen's WW journey here on YouTube for putting together this collab and inviting me to participate all of these collabs have been so much fun it's been great to get to know the other people on YouTube who are on a weight loss journey of their own or on the WW Freestyle program. So thank you, Jen, for deciding to do this collab. I think it's going to be a great idea, and I'm sure the other channels are going to have tons of great recipes for us to try. I'm personally really excited about it. I love finding a new recipe. I'm also going to have Jen's channel and the others who are participating in this collab in my description, so be sure to go and check out their recipes and give them some love. I'm excited to see what ideas that they have put together for us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna be attempting Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. Um, <coughs> Cooper, how rude. So well, here are the things that you're gonna need to do this recipe along with me. So we've got some Sargento ultra thin provolone cheese. We have some extra lean ground beef. We have a little bit of an onion. I probably should have gotten another one but we will make do. We have some minced garlic, you could also use fresh garlic, some salt, some ketchup, a bell pepper, some Worcester sauce, that's how I say it, I don't know if I ever say it correctly, um, and then you'll need some hamburger buns. So I have these great value ones for my husband. If you are on WW and you don't want to get the smart buns, um, these are three points for one, or you can have two buns for five points, but I will be using my smart buns for this recipe. These are one point each, and if you're new here, I do have a coupon code and a link in the description for you to get, I believe, 10% off of your order. Um, so check the description and I'll have that there if you do want to order it. The only thing I really didn't have was beef broth, so I'm going to see what happens. I might have to supplement with water, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Cooper is going crazy. He's got a case of the zoomies. Comment down below if you understand what I'm talking about. I'm just going to chop these up. So now we're going to go ahead and get our extra lean ground beef into the pan. I have one pound of this and then we're going to add in the peppers and I'm going to add a little bit of salt for now. Now that our meat is fully cooked, I'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic, Worcester sauce, and my sugar-free ketchup. This is the G. Hughes sugar-free ketchup. I don't love it, um, but I'm sure it'll be fine in this recipe and that will keep me from having to add any points. And the recipe I found on Pinterest did not have specific measurements, so I'm just going to wing it. I did a fourth a cup of the ketchup and just a little bit of the sauce and I'm going to add about a teaspoon of garlic. And guys, I'm really hoping this turns out good. I'm going to try it at the end of the video. I might have to add some more ketchup in here or some uh, water or some more of the sauce. I'm just going to keep playing with it and see because I think it does need more than this to simmer in. Also, this pan might be a little big for just a pound of this, but we're gonna see what happens. I figured it wouldn't hurt to add some steak seasoning since this is Philly cheesesteak recipe. Um, and I think most of the simmering is done. If you can see, it has soaked up the liquid pretty good and it actually does look like a mamwich and it smells pretty good so i'm hoping that's a good thing i did add about half a cup of water in there um just for it to you know kind of soak in and with the seasonings and the ketchup and everything and we will add some provolone cheese and we'll put it on the buns i'm gonna let it simmer for just a few more minutes and then i will show you when i do that you're just the star of the show aren't you bud Cooper, can you show sit? Good boy. 
Here is the completed man wedge. I'm about to pop the rest of my smart bun on and melt it down in the microwave a little bit just for the cheese. So it's one point for the bun, one point for the cheese, and the meat mixture is three points. Now here on this sandwich, I have 4.3 ounces of the meat. And the serving size for mine actually came out to 4.8 ounces. Um, so what you would want to do if you make this is just measure it all when you're done and split it into four. If you want to have smaller servings, which I probably could have, you could save points that way. But all together, this is going to be a five point sandwich. And on the side, I might have um, corn, potatoes, I'm not really sure yet. But I'm excited to try this for you guys. And I'm going to show you my husband's reaction um, when he gets home to try his. But I'm going to go ahead and try mine right now. Also, I did add some parquet spray butter on my smart bun. And I heated it up in the oven um, just a little bit because it was straight out of the freezer. And I wanted to make sure it was fully thawed out. This looks so good. It's definitely messy like a mamwich would be. That is not bad. That's pretty good. I actually think I would like it better with American cheese. So tomorrow night when I eat it, I might just try my Velveeta slices. Either way, that is pretty good for five points and a good little dinner. Um, it's really flavorful. Yeah, I like it. I'm probably going to make it again. And hopefully my husband likes it, but I will show you his reaction. I love being able to try a new recipe and actually having it work out because you guys know I have had some fails and I'm sure we all have. Um, it's all just trial and error. So I'm going to go finish my sandwich and then we will be back to see how my husband reacts. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good. I like it. What's it taste like, Cooper? He's like, I don't know, but let me in on it. <laughs> the provolone cheese is really good. It still kind of tastes like a sloppy joe, just a little bit. I like it. So there you have it. These Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes have already been a hit here at my house. My husband has already asked me to make them again. So I hope you guys decide to try it. If you do, let me know in the comments how you feel about it. And don't forget to go and check out the other channels and give them some love and see what recipes they have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.